An unforgettable moment that brought science to life. Students across the mid-state recapped the coast-to-coast -coast eclipse in their classrooms today. News Channel 5's Sarah McCarthy has more tonight on those lessons learned. Clouds, cooler air, and crickets. Those are just a few of the observations students say they'll always remember from the eclipse. They're memories that teachers are turning into lesson plans. Good morning, good morning. We're going to start on the back. This is an assignment. Start on the back. Kyle Boley has never handed out before. Whether you saw the totality phase or not, what did you experience? Talk about the color of the sky, temperature, was there wind, uh, how were the animals, insects reacting to it. And for his students, it's one they'll never forget. When it started, everyone started screaming. It looks like a class, like that picture right there, but like it's really cool. And did you? You see this. Seventh grade science students at West End Middle. When the moon goes, has to go around and it has to be in a certain place. Spent days learning about how the moon casts a shadow over the sun. And apparently there were stars out. I didn't see any. It's a phenomenon that happens somewhere above the Earth's surface about every 18 months. And it takes a long time. But rarely crosses over the continental U.S. Oh. How could you not be engaged with this kind of stuff right here, you know? It's something these students have now seen with their own eyes. I didn't really know what I was going to see. I was told many things, but it was more than I expected. And even if some missed out on totality. We had a clear view of the sun the day before at 128, so we thought it couldn't get any better than this, right? As 128 approaches yesterday, a huge mass of clouds. Roll in. This is still an unforgettable lesson. It's a very rare opportunity and, and it's really pushed them to kind of explore science and explore all their different subject areas further. Proving learning can be most effective. And it looks so much cooler in person. Outside of the classroom. Can't believe I missed it. Reporting in Nashville, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5.